Some of you might have been surprised by my last video uh, because it was kind of out of blue, but it wasn't. You see, sometimes I need to teach some people a lesson and also I need to defend myself a little bit. Uh, you see, Swiss, you need help. Like, you honestly need help. Uh, the video that I made yesterday uh, was 100% because you started attacking me again, okay? If you kept your mouth shut, then there would have been no video. So you go ahead and open your mouth more, trash me on public forums, and we can go back and forth. We can go back and forth with these videos. I can expose more lies about you. If, if that's what you want, go ahead and keep talking trash. Even though I helped your company, I raised your company $9 million, you can keep talking trash about me, and I can't keep making videos about you. So it is really up to you. And now, the, the people that I feel sorry for is your current shareholders because they deserve a CEO that's not an idiot. They truly deserve a CEO that's a normal human being. After I published the, the yesterday's video, I'm going to read you a, a, a nice text that I got from a shareholder that used to be hugely supportive of you. Uh, uh, he said uh, he should seriously see a shrink. There are some, some loose screws in his head. And I said, loose screws means having a screw. He doesn't even have a screw. That's what I responded. And you see, and you can't even uh, answer a simple question. Like, for example, how much money did MCE raise you? you? Depending on who you ask, you have a different answer. Sometimes it's 3 million, sometimes it's 4 million. Apparently now it's 6 million. You, you know damn well I keep very good records of everybody. It's not even close to 6 million. It's 8.7 million. It's almost 9 million Canadian dollars. Why are you even lying? What's the point of lying? It's so simple. So if you lie on simple things like this, what else are you lying about? Is your name truly your name? Were you born in a country that you were born? Is the acquisition cost the acquisition cost? If you cannot even tell the truth about simple, simple things, how are people going to take you seriously? Now, I, I expressed why I sold my shares. And it is because of you, because of what your behavior and because of what you did with the money that we gave you. Do you want me to go quarter by quarter to show you how you uh, wasted the money and got very little results for it? Is this what you want me to do? Then go ahead and keep talking. Keep talking bad about me. Keep talking bad about the person that raised you $9 million. Go ahead. And I can make uh, a weekly videos about your company if that's what you want. Now, it's going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt me. Right? By your shareholders. Why don't you think about your shareholders? They are sticking by you with your company. Why don't you give them a non-idiot CEO? Why don't you give them a normal CEO? A CEO that doesn't post on public forums 22 times per day under one username. We both know you have probably three or four. That's what they deserve. They deserve a CEO that's focused on the company. Apparently, you lowered the acquisition cost. Well, why don't you go and get clients? Why don't you focus on getting clients? Why are you wasting time talking about other companies? Why are you wasting time talking about MC? You took our money and you wasted it. That's a fact. Why don't you put this behind, erase the name MCE, erase my name from your dictionary, and move on forward? You, you and I both know you're getting re ready to do a raise because that's what you do, right? You blew all the money or most of the money. And now, even if the acquisition cost is so low, you don't have the money 
to, to take advantage of that low acquisition cost that who knows if it's right or wrong because you can't even tell the truth about how much MCE raised you when it's so clear that somebody knows the answer. So who knows what the acquisition cost is? But let's say the acquisition cost is proper. You need money now, right? You need money to get clients. So is it beneficial for you to be trashing somebody like me on public YouTube channels, they raised you $9 million and can make videos like this about you. Is this going to help your company raise more money at a reasonable valuation? If you think so, then continue to do so. Why don't you prove everybody wrong and deliver, deliver to your shareholders what you promise? Because you know what's coming next. Oh, if you give us $10 million, our acquisition cost is uh, $30. And with $10 million we can get you 300,000 subscribers, like you told us, right? You told us that the acquisition cost was below 100. And then you put your face on a billboard. And you put ads in the subway. That's what you did with our money. But that's history. Why don't you put us behind? Because this doesn't help you. And another tip that I have for you, when you meet somebody and you want them to be a shareholder and they know me, it's probably better if you don't talk shit about me. It doesn't help you. It hurts you. You're not going to get them as a shareholder. So erase my name, erase MCE, and move forward. Deliver something for your shareholders. Focus on the business. Now, if you want to make it your company unsuccessful, then continue to do what you're doing. Waste all of your time on me public message boards using five different aliases and keep trashing the people that helped you. That's the path. That's the path that you choose. Then good luck to you. But your shareholders deserve better. Your shareholders deserve a CEO that is not an idiot.